Hey guys, in this video we're going to discuss what are wireframes, why are they important, the disadvantages and the advantages of having a wireframe and also we're going to discuss my favorite design tools in order to create wireframes in a fast and efficient way for clients, both if you're doing them remotely or you're working locally. So this is part of a course which uh, I'm creating and uh, there's going to be many more videos upcoming on uh, getting started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in more of those, uh, click uh, in uh, the description link below. But without further ado, let's jump right into the video. In this video, we'll dive deeper into an important concept which we previously discussed in one of the past videos, and that is wireframing. We will also discuss the tools which I suggested to create wireframes in a fast and efficient way. Now, wireframing is an essential stage of the design flow and you'll do it very often in your design career. So let's get started talking about the basics of wireframes. So as a refresher on what is a wireframe, wireframing is a way to design a web wrap at the structural level. And uh, a wireframe is commonly used to lay out uh, content and the functionality on a page, uh, which uh, takes into account user needs and the user journeys. Wireframes are used early in the design process to establish the basic structure of a page before visual design and content is added. Now, the aim of a wireframe is to provide a visual understanding of a page early in a project to get clients and the project team's approval before the creative phase gets underway. So that would be the design phase and the further stages. Wireframes can also be used to create the global and secondary navigation to ensure the terminology and structure used for the site or app meets user expectations. Now, one of the great uh, advantages of wireframing is that it provides uh, an early visual that can be used to review with uh, the client. Users can uh, also review it uh, as an early feedback mechanism for prototype usability tests. And uh, not only are wireframes easier to amend than concept designs, once approved by the client and uh, the users, they provide confidence to the designer. From a practical perspective, the wireframes ensure the page content and functionality are positioned correctly based on user and business needs. And uh, as the project moves forward, they can be used as a good dialogue between uh, members of the project team to agree on uh, the project vision and scope. Now let's discuss uh, wireframing tools. So there are many wireframing tools out there and uh, I tried dozens and dozens of them and uh, my best recommendations would be the following. The first three, probably you already know that they are, they are very famous design softwares and uh, softwares which uh, you are going to learn uh, all about uh, in the dedicated courses. So there's entire dedicated courses on Sketch, uh, Adobe XD and Figma, which I created. So you can uh, dive deep uh, and uh, really learn uh, the ins and outs uh, of uh, this software via those courses. And uh, even just the first uh, lessons are going to give you all the basics needed in order to create wireframes uh, efficiently in those softwares. And uh, personally, I that those are the softwares uh, of uh, my choice when it comes to wireframing together with uh, another uh, element which we're going to discuss in just a moment. However, another very good option to create uh, wireframes and uh, especially if you want to share them with uh, clients or you want to have clients uh, involved in the wireframing uh, stage uh, would be freehand uh, and also wireframe.cc, which is literally a, a website so you can put it in the browser and uh, that's going to be uh, the actual wireframing tool. Now, freehand is uh, really good because it allows uh, multiple people to actually be on uh, the same uh, uh, page uh, since uh, it's, uh, it all works on the cloud and live. So you can uh, uh, easily create wireframes. The tools in freehand are pretty intuitive. There's not much going on, so it's a very simple app. And uh, wireframe.cc is another really good option which uh, I used for, for quite a bit uh, in the past, 
But nowadays I'm really focusing on just creating the wireframes uh, either in Sketch or Adobe XD or Figma whenever I need the real-time collaboration uh, features, which uh, are slowly going to be integrated uh, also in the other softwares, I believe. Now, another great option is uh, simply using pen or pencil and paper. And uh, as you can see, you know, there are lots of great tools for drawing wireframes today. However, I still like my good old uh, paper uh, to create uh, quick wireframes. I feel it is perfect for quick sketches and not in our personal wireframe ideas. Um, however, keep in mind that you will usually have uh, a harder time translating the wireframe into digital as you will lose the ability to, uh, and you will also lose the ability to easily collaborate with larger teams uh, or keep a high level of uh, organization on the wireframes at scale. So just keep in mind the scalability aspect and the collaboration aspect, but I believe pen and pencil and paper are really good to noting down like just very quick ideas and quick wireframes and then translating them into digital. Now, um, as we, we saw, um, wireframes are really good, but there's also some uh, disadvantages and uh, as the wireframes do not include any design or account for technical implication, it is not uh, always easy for the client to grasp the concept. The designer will also have to translate the wireframes into a design. So communication to support the wireframe is often needed to explain why page elements are positioned as they are. Also, when content is added, it uh, might initially be too much uh, to fit uh, within the wireframe layout. So designer and the copywriter will need to work closely to make this fit. Wireframes should be used early in a project to get uh, user and client approval on the layout of key pages and uh, the navigation. This will provide the project team, specifically the designers, confidence in moving forward. Wireframes will also save considerable time and money in the testing and uh, amend phase later in the project. All right, now we know and understand more about wireframes, we're now ready to move on to the very next lesson.